Begin by unboxing all components of your Bronco Extreme. This will help you identify parts quicker and easier. Step 1. Lay out the frame and center seat platform. You should note that the oar stands designate the front of the boat. Step 2. Attach the backrest to the seat using supplied pins. Step 3. Insert side outriggers in the proper holes in the seat platform. Use the supplied hitch pins to secure the frame together. Only three pins will be used during this step. The hole in the left rear of the seat platform should be left empty. We will come back to this in another step. Step 4. Insert rear anchor bar into proper holes on the outriggers. No hitch pins will be used during this step. Step 5. To attach the battery sling, lay out the netting as shown. Make sure that there are two straps toward the front and rear and one strap on the left and right. Step 6. Attaching the cargo deck and rear motor mount. Insert hitch pins into the rear holes on the deck. Locate the rear motor mount and attach it by clipping it into the rear anchor bar as shown. Using the supplied hardware, insert the bolt with support bracket into the remaining hole on the seat platform. Be sure to insert from the bottom up. Then place the washer and nylon nut on, then hand tighten. With the frame raised up, place the anchor rope tube into the support bracket. Attach the motor mount by inserting the flag over the top of the bracket. Use a supplied cotter pin to keep it in place. Next, snap on the pulley wheel simply by pressing it into the top of the motor mount. Step 7. Inserting the foot pegs. Please note that when the pegs are placed next to each other, they point slightly inwards. Insert the pegs into the holes on the front of the frame. Make sure they point inwards and towed up. A good starting position is the middle hole. You may adjust the length of the pegs at any time. Step 8. Attaching the oar lock sliders. Place the clamp on the oar stand with the outward hole pointed slightly downward. This will allow for a more comfortable rowing angle. Adjust the oar lock to the desired location and tighten all bolts securely with an Allen wrench. Step 9. Attaching the anchor line lock system. With the system apart, place the bottom piece with pulley and axle on the left side of the frame just behind the left foot peg. Be sure that the line lock system is pointed to the inside of the boat frame. Place the two short bolts in the holes on the inside of the bracket and the two long bolts on the outside. Tighten down all bolts securely making sure that the system is tilted up slightly. Step 10. Attaching T-mounts and armrests. Place the molded T-fitting on the frame as shown. Make sure the heads of the bolts are facing towards the outside. This will allow you to tighten them with ease. Once in place, screw the bottom two bolts in just enough to hold the T-mount in place. Repeat this same procedure for the other T-mounts. Next, take the padded armrest and insert it into the top of the T-mount. You will feel the armrest lock into place. Repeat this step for the armrest on the other side, then tighten down all of the bolts. Your completed Bronco Extreme frame should look like this. Step 11, installing the oar locks. Depending on the model of your boat, your oar locks will be plastic or metal. The assembly steps are the same. Insert the oar lock into the hole on the oar slider and secure it with the supplied cotter pin. Repeat this step for the other side. 
Step 12. Unpack the pontoons and lay them flat on the ground. Pontoons are shipped with the valve stem in the open position. While pressing the valve stem, give it a quarter turn and it will pop up into the closed position. Next, attach the supplied valve adapter and begin pumping. Pontoons must be aired up fully. They should feel firm to the touch and no wrinkles should be visible. Once inflated, place the pontoon under the outrigger with the logo towards the outside and the zipper directly on top. Strap the pontoons onto the frame as shown by looping around the frame and through the cam buckle. Note that for normal use, the pontoons should be centered. It can easily be shifted fore and aft of center to compensate for unbalanced loads. From this side view, you can see that the pontoons are not in line. Pulling them even will allow the boat to track straight while in the water. Here you can see that one of the pontoons is twisted. Adjust the pontoons so the zipper is centered with the frame. When traveling to high elevations and or warmer climates, release some pressure to allow for expansion. You can then top off the pontoon once you reach your destination. Step 13, installing the anchor line rope. Feed the rope through the anchor pulley and down the anchor tube. You will see the rope come out on the other side. Feed the rope into the anchor lock system. Once through, simply lock the rope into place. Step 14, attaching the cargo pocket. Position the cargo pocket atop the pontoon with the mesh tippet dispenser towards the seat. Thread each strap around the outside of the frame, back under the pocket, around the inside of the frame, and through the ladder lock. Repeat these steps for the other cargo pocket as well. Step 15 attaching the stripping apron. While sitting in the boat, loop the nylon strap over the oar stand as shown. Attach the bungee cord through the rear D-ring on the cargo bag. Run the Velcro through the back loop on the apron and secure it to itself. Adjust the front straps, but be careful not to over tighten. Step 16, oar assembly. Assemble the oar extensions as shown. Using soapy water, slide the rubber oar stops on the oar shaft from the middle, not over the grip. Generally, you want the oar stop to be the length of your forearm from the grip. Next, slide the oar sleeve down to the shaft of the oar to the oar stop. Next, assemble the final two sections of the oar. Congratulations, you are now ready to hit the water in your new Bronco Extreme. For more assembly questions, please give us a call at 1-800-284-2247. And remember, Bucks Bags products are proudly made in the USA.